A truck that runs on liquefied natural gas is being refueled for the first time from a mobile LNG filling station. That's how the cleaner fuel will soon be made available in many German harbors. But this is only a test run, because the startup company, Liquind, doesn't yet have all the necessary licenses. Liquind's goal is to get its LNG filling stations placed in inland harbors along the Rhine River. The concept is being funded by the EU and is receiving lots of political support. The German government has issued a fuel agenda in which LNG is named as one of the three replacements for diesel fuel. They're subsidizing LNG truck purchases to the tune of 50 percent of the extra costs compared to diesel vehicles. LNG is rarely used as a fuel in Germany, even though it's much cleaner than diesel. A quick test at the exhaust pipe shows just how much residue is left after it's burned. And this shows how dirty diesel exhaust is by comparison. The difference is really big when it comes to fine particles. Using LNG reduces them by 95 percent. You could see it clearly right there on my finger. It's a huge difference. Most of Germany's LNG comes from a major terminal in Rotterdam. Rolf Brewer is its managing director. The natural gas is delivered by tanker from the Persian Gulf. It's been cooled to minus 162 degrees Celsius, which liquefies it and reduces its volume. It can then be transported like a fluid. Brewer conducts routine tests to measure the amount of gas in the air at the terminal. The LNG comes from Qatar. It's not necessarily destined for the EU market. So then when prices are better in other locations in the world, uh, the LNG is back transported to those locations and customers ask us to reload ships with LNG because they can make a better price in another destination. Qatar is the world's top producer of natural gas. This truck is being loaded with LNG from there. It's headed for Poland. Other tankers are bound for France. In Germany, many shipping firms are increasingly using LNG. A few months ago, this ferry between Emden and Borkum was equipped with a natural gas engine. That may soon grow even more common because environmental standards for ships in the North Sea and the Baltic are set to be tightened. For shipping, LNG is more environmentally friendly than diesel. In Friedrichshafen on Lake Constance, ship engine maker MTU's order books are filling up with gas engine commissions. The engineers here are testing a new model. It's based on a diesel predecessor. The first LNG engine is slated for delivery at the end of this year. LNG has huge market potential, but there are still hurdles to overcome. Of course, when customers replace a diesel engine, they demand the same performance, power and comfort, meaning tanking up should be in the usual place and take the same amount of time. And that's where the supply side challenge rears up, making the fuel available to the ships. It's not enough to just design the engine or the system. It has to all fit together, and that takes time. Liquind is expecting LNG to replace diesel fuel and is working on quickly creating a nationwide distribution network, especially for heavy trucks and inland freight vessels, because they already have the space to house the larger tanks.